Hi guys and welcome back. Sorry about my voice. I am still getting over whatever I have. It is holding on for dear life and I finally got a majority of my voice back. So that is why a video did not go up last week. So bear with me because I totally understand that this is not very pleasant to listen to. But I'm really excited about today's video because I had my twin nieces and my nephews over a couple nights ago and I've been wanting to do this video for a long time but the opportunity never presented itself. So we had all four of them here the other night and I had them pick my makeup. Okay, I take that back. One of my nephews, he wasn't having it and didn't want anything to do with being on camera. So it's just one nephew and my twin nieces that pick my makeup. So if you wanna see what they picked, then keep on watching. the products that I wanted them to pick I didn't necessarily do a product I love versus a product I hate some of them are um, my favorites versus my not so much favorites but then other of them I just chose two products just out of curiosity to see if they would pick them so let's go ahead and get started with the first two products so actually my first two products when it comes to primer is one I've been using and loving for months now. It is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. And then I'm not a fan of this product and I hate saying it. I love the moisture that it gives me, but uh, as for um, doing anything for my pores or making my makeup last longer, anything that a primer that I look for in a primer, it does not do. And that is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So these are the two I put out with i believe it was kenzie so let's see which one she picked yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god i think she's there you go good job so of course she picked this one which i absolutely love and i knew i knew she would pick my favorite primer. For foundation, the two I picked is the Maybelline Dream Cover and L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I did not think of what it was. This, not a fan of. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. So let's see which one was picked. Which one? <laughs> not both. <laughs> which one? Yay! Oh yeah, baby. One of my favorites going on my face. So far, so good, man. No complaints from me. Okay, so far, so good. My nieces love me. They picked my favorite products. So now moving on to concealer, I gave them the option of the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, which not a fan of. Not a fan of at all. Creases, looks cakey. First impression went horrible. Don't really use this on my channel. Or my top favorite drugstore concealer, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind. So let's see what happened. Hey, which one? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, no. Well, I'm glad I'm not going out today. Thanks, girls. You just... you. You were doing so well, you know? All right, let's get this on my face. Okay, you know, I like to let my concealer dry down a little bit just to give a little more coverage and I feel like you get less creasing that way. So while this is drying down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and show you my two powder options that I gave Brayden as his first two products to choose from. First off is the Patrick Star and MAC Collaboration Powder which is so old. I don't even know why I have this. This oxidizes on me, uh, does not give me any brightening effect, which is crazy because when I first reviewed this product a couple years ago, I absolutely loved it. So over the years though, uh, mm, mm, just ain't doing it for me anymore. And then the other option was my all time, ulti all time ultimate favorite, my all time favorite powder from the drugstore, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. So let's see what he picked. Yeah. So it's between one of those. Which one? Which one do you like better? This one. Which one? 
This one. Okay. That's Brayden. Say hi, Brayden. Stop. <laughs> Brayden, no. Brayden. Brayden, no. Yeah, let's thank my lucky stars I'm not going out today. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this all out and then put on this powder. Right now, that concealer looks really good, giving me a nice highlight on all the high parts of my face. And I'm actually not hating it. It is getting into my wrinkles and creases like it usually does, but I've seen it look worse. But as of right now, I'm not exactly hating that concealer as much as I used to. So maybe the girls didn't screw me as bad as I thought. But I have a feeling that the powder is just going to ruin it. All right, Brayden. Here we go. Maybe if I don't use as much, it won't look as bad. <laughs> yeah, the problem with that concealer is... It gets into all of my wrinkles and you might think, girl, you don't have any wrinkles. The thing is, it makes you look like you have wrinkles when you don't really don't have that many wrinkles. But we all have wrinkles, so uh, it makes me look older, which who wants to look older? You know what I mean? Makeup's supposed to make you look flawless and younger and that concealer just, you know, is not your friend. Hopefully it'll look better the longer I have it on because sometimes that happens with makeup when you first put stuff on it doesn't look as good as it done once it's warmed up and sat on your skin and became one with your skin so let's hope it starts looking a little bit better. So the two bronzers I had him choose from is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I like this bronzer, I just never use it. It's not one of my go-to bronzers because I have other ones that I just love and are the staples in my collection. So this guy's kind of been put on the back burner for a long time. Or the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. So let's see what he chose. These two. All right, I'll choose a prettier one. Okay, okay, not bad. I don't mind that one. You know what, I'm glad he chose this because let's see what it does, if I like it as much as I remember. And that's what I like about this video because I try to choose some things, not all things, but choose some things that I'm hoping that I re-fall in love with so that they just don't sit in my collection, go bad, and then I never use them again. So let's see how this goes. The one thing that I'll never get old is how this smells like a cabana boy bringing you a pina colada and rubbing you down with some suntan oil on the beach in the Caribbean, possibly drinking a Mai Tai. Should I keep going? Even with how stuffed up my nose is, I can still smell this and it's just heaven. Okay, all right. I'm not hating the way that this looks. And especially because I have zero self tan on right now and lately i've been embracing my natural skin color this would be too light and not show up if i had my tanner on now i know that they've come out with darker shades of this bronzer so i might have to go purchase a darker shade of this so when i do self tan i can use this bronzer not bad Braden. not bad the two blushes that i had him pick from are the Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush in number 18. One of my favorites, I use this all the time, versus the Tarte Party <laughs> Blush. Uh, mm, this blush I got for my birthday, and eh, the pigment and the payoff with this blush is not very good. So, let's see what he picks. Those two. Uh, two okay, that's one of my favorites, awesome. That's my boy, Blue. That's my boy. I totally forget what movie that is from. All right, I think we should go ahead and get to the eyeshadow palettes. Mm, okay, so the two eyeshadow palettes that I chose is an oldie but goodie, a staple, I think, that should be in everybody's makeup collection. 
and a majority of people have this palette. It's one of the best palettes that they have made. Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Re Renaissance Palette. And it is absolutely beautiful. The color payoff is spot on. And you can go so bold versus so neutral with this palette. It's a great palette. Versus the Lorac palette. I don't even know what this is. What is this? The Eyeshadow 2 palette. I just, you know, I don't even know if I've ever used this on my channel. Let's see what he chose. We can open them. Now you see the outside. Mm -hmm. Need help. And then this is the inside. Which one do you like better? I'm going to go with probably this one. Okay, okay. Brayden! What are you doing to me? I gave you pizza. Clearly, I'm going for a neutral look because I have tried to use these darker, crazy, cool tone colors. I do like the silver, the blue, it just comes off patchy. Doesn't look very good on the eyes. So I'm gonna stick more toward like these shades. And this isn't really a tutorial. So I'm just gonna slap some of these eyeshadows on and kind of be done with it. All right, so I stuck with light brown, rose, beige, snow, and buff. And this is what I came up with. Now, for my favorite part of my makeup routine is highlight. And the two highlights I chose is definitely my favorite versus probably my least favorite in my collection. My favorite is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Flash Palette. Beautiful, beautiful highlighters. Oh my God, you cannot go wrong with these highlighters, especially if you like a crazy bling just your face shining to jesus himself you would love these highlighters or the elf highlight in moonlight pearls this highlight just doesn't really give it to me yeah and that's why i never use it so let's see what he picked mm -hmm. this is bigger and it has like more selections than this. Nice, that's my favorite. I think he loves me, guys. I think he really loves me. I kind of dip back and forth between Gleam and Iced, these two top ones when I don't have a tan on. So, y'all ready for this? I don't think you're ready. You see that? Oh, I cannot get enough of this highlighter and every time I wear it, I go overboard and you know what? I'm really not gonna apologize for it. My husband always says he never understands why people would want a shiny face. You know, that, that might be a cause for me to divorce him. How dare you ever say that? Hey, highlighter isn't for everybody, but you know what? It is for me and that's that. All right, let's go ahead and set my face before I put my lashes and mascara on and all that kind of stuff. So the two setting sprays to choose from are the Milani Make It Last setting spray, my favorite setting spray from the drugstore versus my all-time favorite high-end setting spray, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Which one of those? Mm. Cool. Love it. <sighs> I love a second shower of the day. All right, so while my face is drying, the two eyelashes I gave him to choose from are my um, Ardell Demi Wispies. I love these lashes. I just, I think I picked the Kiss lashes over these but they are a great drugstore foundation. I am dripping. Did I say drugstore foundation? Drugstore eyelash or my all-time favorite lash that I would give my left arm for, which is the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. So let's see what he chose. Now between those two. Oh, wait, let me take this out. Hold on. Mm. All right, so now it's between this one. These lashes. Yes! 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 
I was, I was, I feel like I was gonna pick the other one. No, that's. But, but that box was, was like actually pretty. Ain't it pretty? Like I it know. Actually had a box. Yep. And it wasn't just laying around. <laughs> All right, my favorite lashes are on and I went ahead and did my brows off camera as well. I use two products now for my brows. So usually I just use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, but I actually added another brow product to my brow routine. I plan on doing an updated brow routine here very soon, maybe in the next couple of weeks, which is why I didn't have Brayden or the twins choose between those two products because I use two products now. So. Keep an eye out for my updated brow routine. For mascara, it was between the Tarte Tartist Mascara or the Essence Lash Princess Lash Boss Lash Effect Mascara. Let's see which one you chose. Mm. These two. Both look nice, but is this real? Like, is this? Like, it's mascara. Probably this. Which one? This. Yes! You're picking good it's stuff. Like uh, like all messed up to me yeah it's pretty old i ain't gonna lie this has been my favorite mascara i just got this about a week ago oh my god i only wear it when i actually don't wear false lashes and i kind of want to do a comparable video between my uh high-end favorite mascara which is the benefit roller lash i'm curious what would happen between these two because or the that one and this one because this is five bucks i think the benefit roller lash is close to thirty dollars and if this can beat a high-end product I, I would choose it any day of the week so if you have not tried this mascara for your natural lashes i will go more into detail if i film that video but this is bomb and of course i get mascara all under my eye fantastic definitely gonna let that mascara dry before i wipe it off so it doesn't smear and move on to the lips so the two lip products i chose him to pick between is the tarte wonder i, I don't think i've ever wore this which is why i kind of put it in the running tarte wonder lip surgeons lip cream this is the shade i don't know why i wanted this in the running for the pretty vulgar, what is this, like a matte liquid lipstick, and my lips are sealed. Actually, I don't even really like either one of these, but have at it. And he said, it is, you're probably going to pick some one of Okay, I actually do like that better than this one. And that's it. All right. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot it's like metallic. Oh, this is so pretty. All right, guys, so here is the final look. I am so happy that I did this video and had help from my nieces and my nephew because I am shocked at the outcome. I really thought my makeup was going to be a disaster. I thought I was going to be three shades darker than my natural skin tone. I'm a little darker because of the powder. I definitely will not be using this again. This, I think, should go in my trash. Bye-bye. I am shocked to say that the concealer doesn't look horrible actually i might keep that powder for when i self tan let me get that powder it did set it beautifully i mean i don't know how close i can get without just totally washing myself out with my ring light it does not look as bad as i thought it was going to be seriously i am shocked i got to use some of my favorites my oldies but goodies and then other products i had to bring back to life but you know what i think that's part of this whole thing i was kind of curious to see if the things that i used to love and if they were chosen if i would still like them and this butter bronzer i might get a new one and get one in a darker shade but i am i just think it turned out beautiful it went on so flawlessly blended beautifully i'm definitely going to be using this again which is so cool to me even though this eyeshadow palette got picked, I just don't know if I'm going to be using it. It didn't wow me because I have so many palettes that have those same shades that I just used on my eyes. So this might have to be put away uh, on my back shelf in the dark or in the trash. I don't know, but this is one product I don't think I will be using again, but that's okay. We 
get new stuff. We change the way we do our makeup. We look for different things in our products. And when I first got this, I think I loved it, but I have so many other things now that I would choose over this all of the time. And I know that for a fact. So this is one product that probably is retired and is benched and will not get played. I love filming this. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. Thank you to my beautiful, gorgeous angel babies and my nephew, Brayden. You guys are awesome. And I'm pretty sure that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.